the Wynwood neighborhood in Miami is the mural capital of the world. And today we're gonna spend a day here, paint a mural, check out the Wynwood murals, and go to the local brewery. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Well, we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Located a little north of downtown Miami, we decided it wasn't enough to just visit Wynwood and check out the famous Wynwood walls and other street art. We wanted to see if we could paint something too. We first found a local artist named Kyle through Airbnb and then got ourselves painting clothes befitting the occasion at a thrift store. Spin. Art Let's world see it. Yay. Art world, yeah. <laughs> This is the first time we're doing an Airbnb experience. We use Airbnb a lot actually for our lodging, but uh, we'll see how the experience goes. I'm really excited. And before we knew it, we were at one of the entrances to Wynwood and prepared to paint our masterful artistic expressions for hours on end. Just kidding. We have no idea what we're doing. All right, so Kyle has given us a million places that we can paint. We can do the sidewalk, we can do this door, we can do this inside wall. Um, I think what we want to do is actually this empty space around this lady over here. So that's what me and Magellan are going to do. If we needed ladders, we were provided ladders. If we needed rollers, we were given rollers. Whatever color we wanted, we picked. The idea was that nothing is ever finished, and we were just adding to it. She looks very happy, right? Even though she's missing an arm. And her other arm looks kind of weird. At some point, I decided to try my hand at spray painting cubes from stencils. Guess who sucks at spray painting? This guy. Man, these are pretty terrible. We've had an incident. Magellan sprayed himself in the eye. While I was washing my eyes out, Greyhound wasn't faring much better. Oh man, guys, I just stepped up in a whole bunch of purple paint. All right, I cleaned up our really sad cubes with a paintbrush. Let's see if we can finish them. You made it, let's see that eye. Beautiful, baby, yeah! We eventually began adding some little finishing touches before being satisfied with what we had accomplished. It was pretty cool to be able to see how we started and where we ended. What's even cooler is some months later, I was in the area and got to see how it changed again. And now to check out the Wynwood Walls. I thought that was gonna be cool, but that was actually even cooler than that. As one of the largest open air street art installations on the planet, the most prominent place in the Wynwood Arts District is the Wynwood Walls. While free to enter for more than a decade, you now must buy tickets to enter. It's $12 for adults, $10 for seniors and military, $5 for students, don't forget your ID, and free for children. There are tours as well that last 50 minutes and cost $25 per person. Spearheaded by real estate developer Tony Goldman as a way to revitalize the neighborhood of aging warehouses, the Wynwood Walls opened in 2009 during Art Basel, Miami Beach, which is now an annual global art fair. The Wynwood Walls contain 35 murals across six separate warehouses and two galleries. And while some of the murals are permanent, others can change from year to year. A variety of famous artists from around the world come here to create art on these magnificent outdoor canvases. There are QR codes you can scan on your phone to learn more about the artists if you like. We've seen enough of these guys in the Everglades. There aren't just murals here either. You'll see some sculptures as well. Even the bathrooms were cool looking. We are so glad we did the painting experience first because now we know how incredibly hard painting murals is and the amount of skill involved. It's not that we assumed it was easy, 
but the level of detail and care is astounding. These people are truly gifted and these murals are mind-blowing. Not sure if it makes Greyhound more legit, but she still has paint on her fingers. The inside galleries are really cool too. This actually says it has end of life material. So this literally is a trash panda. Also, for those wondering, you can still see murals throughout Wynwood without buying tickets to see this. The community is filled with art on the sidewalks and walls of businesses. And there's a monthly art walk where people enjoy the galleries, live music, food trucks, and drinks. Which brings us to our last stop, Jay Wakefield Brewing. Not only do they make excellent beer, including some of the highest rated Berliner Weisses in the world, but they're huge Star Wars nerds. And the inside and outside of the brewery is adorned with murals of various Star Wars characters and comic book superheroes. Even the beers we tried were called Punch It Chewy and Cooler Than a Tauntaun's Toenails. While there, we ordered food from the nearby Nostimo Greek Kitchen and enjoyed our beers. And that was our day in Wynwood. What was your favorite mural or artist? Let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water.